everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shappy and we're gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2 and look at this we got some uh, got some tents. Uncle is over there with a working bench I feel like. Got some wood for the new house. It's going somewhere. It's going somewhere guys. Well you got blueprints look at that. He's ready. All right let's see what he wants. Those plans make any sense? Oh sure. Seems easy enough I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what oh I my think. God. <laughs> be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. What? Well, first thing it says, the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day is over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. <laughs> Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get off? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. Should get on with this. Yeah, let's build a house. <laughs> if they put it like this, it looks very easy and very fun to build a house. <laughs> oh man, look at that, we're building our house. Yeah, okay, uncle. Bro, if this is copyrighted, I'm gonna snap. I feel like that is copyrighted. That's too accurate of a song. <laughs> oh, little birdie. Look at that. Aww. I'm gonna build a little birdhouse too. I promise. Thank you. Oh my god. My hair is growing. The bird is still here. <laughs> cool. Foundation and chimney is done. First wall, here we go. Oof. Yo, this actually looks like a lot of fun. I'm not even lying. It's made out of wood, but come on, it's a house. Look at that. That looks good. I'm proud. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> the 
could put nails in those? Are they made of stone or something? Of like, um, what's it called? And I think that's everything. That stone thingy. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. Bro, look at that. So do you. That is oh, beautiful. I know. And Absolutely course, magnificent. As long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. I didn't look that like that. I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. Yeah, I didn't look like that. I had a, I I had a full beard. The bank and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. That was very sweet. A few days later. Cowboy Builder. Oof. That looks so cool. I feel like I just built that. It's crazy, actually. Because I just pressed X. <laughs> but I just have the feeling I built that. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Where's Uncle at? Alright. Mission complete. What is he doing on the hill? Hey, man. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, so when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. It is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll deal with them. All right. I want to see that. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that. All right, Uncle. Let's go. In the black water. Let's go. Right to the lumber yard in black water. Right. 
I'm old fashioned, all right. Actually, do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh no! You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you <coughs> while I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. This it's is far him. too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. I'll take care of that. Don't you worry about it. Knock, knock. I'm back. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> what? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, we're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's home. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. Uh, it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. <laughs> How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Sadie. Hey. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are Small you? town. Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut <laughs> up, you old crazy. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's... Climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help us that barn. On good authority, we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay, Painted Sky. What is that place? <laughs> All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia. We just go across. On the property. Looks like a long way around. Oh, that's why we're going around. Okay, come on. Yep. Can I not go down here? Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Why am I not just going around? It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. Why am I making it so hard on myself? Well, we can go down here though. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Boss? Hello? Cortez. Are you good? He's with the Del <laughs> Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. Please let me get up here. Bit punch. Just like we were. There you go. And they're friendly, I bet. Ha! <laughs> to a fault. Hold your horses! Nope. Gotta keep up. Don't have time. Come on, sit. Oh my god, roll. Really? Come on. No, I'm not. You're going the wrong way. Say that again. Charming to a fault. 
Oh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. But it's something to behold. Oh my god, Sadie, really? You're lucky I have to stop for a second to get my horse's stamina back. Man. Stay with me from now on. Oof. Anyway, you carry on. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. There you go. We you made know, it. I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Ramon Cortez. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Where are you? Knock knock. What the hell? Kick. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly. Of course he's around the corner. What a pansy. It'll all be over soon. Yeah, okay, buddy. Wanna bet? Ow. Come here, boy. You got him? Woo! I you got him. So. What? He just tried to kill me. That's about she said right. got him, right? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Well, Let's that was easy. Sheriff. That wasn't even a fight. That was a punch. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rome. That's my hat. Rome. It's different there now. Really? How different? Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be. You can't bribe us, man. Better than any bounty. Oh, shit. Thank God they're skipping it for me. Welcome to Rhodes. Up here. Oh shit. Hello there. Hello. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Okay. Well, we're part-time bounty hunters now to get money, huh? Okay. Come on. I'm down. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that. It's 200. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <clears throat> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys <laughs> are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. 
You did a good job. <laughs> Done. Done deal. Bro, can you die, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, where's he going? That was an explosion. Really? Threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Okay. Come on. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is <laughs> trouble there. Ow. What in the hell? Yeah, what in the hell? Watch it, man. Was gonna say yeah, okay, buddy. You want to shoot at me? Bro, if he kills me. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So. Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. 
if the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Man. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little fox. Hold up. Down there. Fire. Hello. I wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. Yeah. They're about to go okay. down. They didn't go far. The there it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Okay. Are we sniping now? They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. <laughs> but it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides. Those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Something's going wrong. Alright, what do we have here? That's Sadie. Come on. What? How did he survive? Bro, I can't hit him. Where they at? Oh, I suck. didn't die. How are they all not dying, man? Are they on the bridge? Matt. How do you not die, bro? Please. What? What's she looking at? Wait, what? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I hear somebody, but I can't see anybody. Oh, there you go. Hello. There you go. Alright. God. <laughs> Give me my rifle. I'm coming, Sadie. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we do about that. I'm sorry. Let run away. Wow. Here, go. Take him down. Go. Woo. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Feel the bad, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I gotta take up. <laughs> oh man, oh man. John, get down here. Yeah, I was okay. saying I need to take cut. Uh, oh my god. I need to take cover more often. It's my issue. Always running in. Blind. Let's see what we can do about that. Bat. No, get it. Get him. Yeah, 
I kind of got him. Oh my god, that was way off. I'm trying, alright? I'm trying. I really am trying. No, take cover. No, 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 no. No. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why are they all shooting at me? They suck. Gotta eat something. Oh. Well, there's the boat. He's going away. No. Whoa. Oh my god. No. Shoot him. Oh. 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 No. Please. Please. Cortez boat. All right, I gotta get my sniper rifle. You wanna die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyways. Do you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get Is it doing here. anything? All right, all right, amigo. There you go. Try anything clever. All right, amigo. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Is that him? Long time oh. ago. Hey, what the hell am I doing? Hey, Shut your gut down now. All right. Give me my rifle. They keep coming, all right. I Just think so. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. This fool. Seems Mexico's a tough place. It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. You was about to say. It's too tough for you, John Marston. I'd say Let's well get clear. Out of here. Oh, I mean it's about to, time Mrs. we collected Adler. this bounty. Those bounty. What do you think, Cortez? <laughs> you got any more surprises up your sleeve? I gotta eat, man. I gotta eat. There you go. Why are you right behind me? Why should I slow down? Well, I hope 
you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they don't <laughs> We're gonna come for you. <laughs> I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. Oh yeah. All right, all right. This is nothing to do. Doggy, why are you barking? We got him, Sheriff. <coughs> we got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You can send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. See you. We still don't have any money. <laughs> Oh, the barn is done. Nice. Let's see what Uncle wants. Bap. Where's he at? Is he up here? He better be up here. No, he's not up here. Wait. What can I search over there? What is this? Close. What? Why can I open that? <laughs> Why can I open that? How was your holiday? I was making money. You think? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house? The barn? Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. <laughs> when horn and hounds the forest We got furniture friend, as well. Nice. The huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest friend is packed, the huntsman cheers. As loud as How is he pouring that while jumping? Make any sense. As loud as howloo when we send the broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and let our hands to see. What's got at sea, we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea, we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. We're having fun. <laughs> we are happy. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I hope Abigail doesn't show up. <laughs> John! Get out here! What? Uncle's gone! Really? Fine! Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> that fat man will be fine.
fly. No, we won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. <coughs> we gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Uh, I took uncle. Really? Let's go. They're always going for the weakest. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Nope. Dear Lord. Oh, yeah. They've gone up towards Tall Tree. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get it. Did you hear something? Watch it. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. This is really bad. Oh. This is really, really bad. Stay. To the trees. Come on. Oh, I see somebody. See two people actually. Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Look out? Probably. Take one, and I'll take the other. Bad. <laughs> Oh, they messed with the wrong people. They were waiting for us. Uncle, stay close. We Why am I running like that? Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Why is it getting foggy? I don't like this. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hold. Patrol to our left. Could a patrol or let them pass? Easy, easy. Nah, those are three guys. I'm not messing with three guys. Hold it. That would be suicide. Want to be let sneaky? If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. Yo, Should sick hiding spot, left. John. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. Oh man. Who's talking about Uncle? He's alive. Yep. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. God, hello. Is that uncle? Hold up. No, that's not Did uncle. That? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. Stay with him. He's 
stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, he must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay, let's go. I couldn't aim for the head. Oh, I took two arrows, man. I was so close. I think I see something. Uh huh. What do you see? Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. Where's the camp? Oh man. How did he see that? Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Use binoculars. Why my binoculars? There you go. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? He's getting roasted. <laughs> I don't care. Come on. Uh, Charles. Uh, 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 oh my God. Thank you. you. Oh no. Boy. Get off my friend. Right, the surprise is over. We're here for you. Let's see. Oh. Hi. Bro. Fall shots in the back. Are you serious? All right, I got to get off this uh Got to get off this. Oh. Oh my god. Paperback man over there. <laughs> Is that who's that? Oh, that's Charles. Where are they at? There's only two more. Map. What have they done to you? Oh my god. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. You're okay, old man. I look okay. Poor man. Oh, Poor oh, man. Oh my okay. god, look at his back. We got him. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God. Oof. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Why? You didn't leave us alone. Here come the rest of them. Quick, there's more of them. I'll cover you. Come on, down that gully. Where they at? On to me. Up on the lawn. Now. Uh. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. buddy. What? What? Bro. Please. Let me shoot at people. Get away. Where's the other one at? Oh, there he is. Get up there. 
We're taking you home. Uh oh. This is where you die. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. I don't need you good. They're trying to stop us. Woo. Please. Let me out. Alright. We good. We good. Yeah, I can only imagine. Oh man, they burned his bag. What animals? Oh, don't let me fall, please. Nice and easy now. Does it look okay? No, <laughs> not at all. Get him out oh, Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. You'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You? Your family, you know, will be safe. I hope so. I really do. Yeah, if let's hope so. Back. Well, she's gonna come back. I think she's gonna come back. We should have sent her pictures with the letter. They got a dog? You. You're. <laughs> I. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Give him some time. He'll warm up. Got a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? <laughs> I guess. Oh man. 
one happy family. Wow. Oh my god, we got two missions. Alright. We're gonna do a long episode today. Wait, where's it at? Oh, they're right here. They are right here. <clears throat> wow. We got Abigail back. Look at that. And Jack, too. We got a Rufus, our new dog. It's crazy, man. Good life, so good you life. Happy? I think so. <laughs> well, I did good. You did good. So. <laughs> forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard Damn it. Woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! What is it? <laughs> Sadie! John, it's Sadie Ann. <laughs> How'd you know she was... We... I... saw her. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. It took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Write silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just... Well, that was the wrong sentence. Some money. <laughs> How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. What? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Groves, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Yeah, let's go hunting. There you are, Missy. You want to work? Get your horse and let's go. I'm on my horse. What about you? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, you Missy. Ready? Hurry up. Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. I am. And the ranch? <laughs> you were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her at least. Oh my. I thought they were already I never married. Took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I I think I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. <coughs> no. 
Not really. Not See, that's what I, isn't this a little. Well, See, that's what I thought. I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married. Sadie's on my side. Me real happy. We're cutting up the main track up here by Manzanita Post. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman, camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. The hell was well? Are you good? Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. See a trail. This looks looks like a bear or something came through here. <laughs> Fella left in quite a hurry. Here. What? Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? Both of them. I feel like that's someone we know. I have this feeling. <laughs> it's that way, I'd say. Great. What? It's right here. What are you talking about? Can you see which way he might have gone? Yeah, this way. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. What? It's going back around. It keeps going through here. Yeah, this way. There's a cabin up. That's an old cabin. <laughs> A very old cabin. Go to the corpse. Corpse. Yo, there's a there was a corpse? I did not see that. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my God! It's more like a local farmer to me. You know what's left of one? Who? Is he gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. Keep walking. Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh my god. I gotta fight a bear now? Running away. Oh no, he's charging up. Uh oh. That was a clean headshot. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I shot him in his head. Sadie, can you... Please, can you do something? <clears throat> what kind of shooting was that? Sadie, I'm disappointed. Come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Then it. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> okay. So, well, That's one way of doing it. Man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you.
I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. I gave him something to remember us by, at least. Yeah. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife <coughs> are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my cash on... Who's this up here? Is that... Let me get my gun ready. <laughs> Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me or my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We were thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Drop it. Boy. Right. Can you pick it up, please? <laughs> you don't mess around, do you? Nope. Let's go. They were annoying me. <laughs> Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Exactly. That's exactly my point. Business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Y'all. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Yeah, Ain't sure all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I... I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Are you serious, bro? Eddie, now, come on, out of the way. I apologize. What were you saying? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well. I'm hearing things. Uh, yeah, okay, Sadie. Still mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. <sighs> He's Here, knocked out. <laughs> He couldn't handle the punch. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. What do we have here? Jack. I hope this is the last mission, man. You're I want to finish this game so bad. <laughs> I want to finish it. These days ain't short. Why are the bells ringing? What time is it?
Why is it raining all of a sudden? Please. I hate the rain. Even the video games. It's so depressing. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, hello. Hello, animal. Get off the road. Oh my god. Suicide deers, man. Alright, Jack. Sub little man. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading, and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Go to the river with Jack. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. You'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care <laughs> if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but... That sound is so mean. No. Poor Jack. <laughs> and it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should. Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. There you go. Great countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass, Come on. Light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see yes. better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just this is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, Ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right, how do I fish again? Bait. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's <clears> right. <throat> I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. I got one too. <laughs> nice. What do you think? How you feel? Just keep. <laughs> I don't. We need I some food. I don't know. 
Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. Need some bait. I don't have any bait. Equip hey, Brad bait. My trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm sure he's fine. I'll go find him. Boom. Rufus! Come on, boy! Don't go too far, Jack. Rufus! Yeah, let's keep it. Come help you look. Look for Rufus. What? How, how am I supposed to find him? Well, this ain't like him, Pop. Oh. Can you go search the other side of the track? What's over here? Look for Jack. Now I gotta look for Jack and Rufus? Bruh. What? Please come here. What is it? Rufus! Rufus, no! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no! Down, oh no! Calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are Suck we gonna do? Venom. Get the poison out! I'm trying. Dad! Rufus, no! Oh no. Well suck it! Rufus! Dad. So <laughs> really, Jack? He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. You yeah, he'll be fine. Get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. No, he's not. Rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Oh no. Abigail. This is like Molly and me. What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Is Molly me? Or Molly and I? I don't know. Grab his rug. That movie. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes, you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But, but the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Poor Rufus. Man. <sighs> Try again. Bro, how much is left? Please, let me finish the story. Abigail Roberts. Nah. I'm not gonna do that. I I gotta I gotta stop. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Press that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.